hey beautiful people welcome to my channel hi guys if you're new i'm a plane and i'm going to show you guys today this crook i created by using a black owned and asian owned makeup products so this video is all going to be about this so if you want to see how to get created this look just carry on watching this video okay everybody so in today's video as i mentioned in the description in the introduction earlier i am going to use mostly black owned and also asian owned so i know i noticed there's a lot of videos going around on youtube about black owned um makeup brands but i just wanted to incorporate the asian owned makeup brands also asian particularly especially um asian brands which are either owned by indian and other asian ethnicity uh, women or who are solely like indian owned really forgot about it looking for a skin care which are actually black owned or indian owned or asian owned so i'm just going to just use the stuff i have and most of the in my skin care i think most of it might be still indian or black owned but some of the products might not be black owned or Asian or Indian owned makeup brands or skincare brands but I'm gonna see whatever I have I'm gonna work with that okay so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take my Vasanti rose water pomegranate toner and refreshing spray this is fairly new to me I haven't used it before I only got it like a couple of days ago during my fat fit fun um, edit sale and I saw this product and I just thought it'd be quite nice to try it because I heard a very good things about this brand and the ladies who own this brands are Asian Asian like toner and refreshing spray as my face hydration mm. Wow, it smells really nice I'm going to use is for tray uh, turmeric face milk I as I said not all of the items in my skincare might not be all the um, Asian or black owned products totally about getting a chili skincare as well but, yeah hmm. okay so the next thing I'm going to use in my skincare is my Clinique uh, 96 hour hydro filler concentrate. This is not an eye cream, it's an eye concentrate and I only started using it a couple of weeks ago and believe me I have noticed a huge difference in my under eye area. So I'm just going to create kind of like hair where I don't have any. the kind of look I'm going for today really want to get some feathery kind of brow look don't want to go for something too done or anything so I want to keep it very very feathery this is my Dominique Cosmetic uh, uh, collab with JD Baby primer and this is the ultra hydrating complexion primer um, so we can do some every time I apply this primer this is my third fourth time using this product I love it absolutely love it especially the fragrance it takes me to like I am sitting in a spa for my foundation I'm going to go with my favorite which is from Wonder Beauty again this is part of Asian owned brand do, do, do. I really 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 like this foundation uh, and I'm wearing the, I'm wearing shade golden medium today um, this shade is a perfect shade for me especially for summer um, because it's slightly darker than my own natural skin tone but with all the concealer and brightening and everything it works out perfect Colourpop uh, blending sponge. Uh, so I got myself this Colourpop full bead kit uh, and I'm going to use today velvet and detail. Uh, 
I heard some really good reviews about this product, so I just thought why not, let's just try it. I'm going to try the velvet one first. Before the, before I dampened them, they were like this this small, and after water they just became like large and in charge kind of sponge. And this is the detail one. As you can see, this is the velvet, which has like a um, flattened side as well, and then you have detail. Okay, so I'm gonna use the velvet first because I just want to see how things. Blending with the ease. Mm -hmm. First impression, I really like the sponge because it is blending everything really, really nicely. Don't have any streaks, no issues. Everything is very nice smooth I even like the firmness it's not really hard but it's not too soft either I'll give my face another coat of this um, just to make sure everything locks into place I'm gonna go over with my sponge to make sure everything goes into my skin so the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my brightening and concealing of rest of my face and for that I'm going to use Fenty Beauty concealer pro filter instant retouch concealer in shade 230 so for me Fenty Beauty is a black owned product uh, brand so I don't know what other people think but some people are using it in their videos, some are not, so I really thought I have all, all the stuff, products sorted for this video, but yeah. Well, my video is not going to be just solely black owned products is going to be also Asian owned products because not a lot of people are talking about Asian owned brands not a lot of people um, actually talk about like how underrated some Asian makeup brands are so I just thought it could be a really good idea to just mix both um, ethnicities and try to find the products from both cultures and support both side of the world so yeah I hope it works okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I think just for the sake of it because I really do wanna test the detail one uh, as well I'm going to take the detail sponge and I'm gonna blend my concealer with this so what I'm going to do is, I'm just waiting for the concealer to settle on my skin for a couple of seconds. Um, so before I blend, by doing this, the concealer doesn't lift off. It actually stays on your skin. And if you apply a little bit product on your damp sponge before you start blending, it doesn't lift off and no product whatsoever. So it gives you a really nice full coverage. So uh, I'm going to go as it is. Okay, it did lift off some of the product, which is fine. Not like dramatic amount or anything, but a very small amount, which is fine. I do really, really, really like the sponges though from Colourpop. They are so nice. Even this one is so perfect. It's not too firm, not too soft. I am loving these sponges. Okay, I'm going to do the same with my forehead. A Fenty Beauty cream blusher and this is in shade Petal Poppin. Um, absolutely loving this shade right now, it's so beautiful. Um, I'm just going to take this like it literally on the back of the uh, detail one. I'm going to start applying this on the high points of my face.
okay I love this uh, particular um, shade of the blush it's so 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 beautiful Really, really happy all right now I'm just going to set my face and to set my face I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty setting powder and this one is in shade which one butter this was in shade butter and I'm going to set my face using the uh, Tati Beauty um, Blendiful I really, really like this product or this tool to set my face with the powder because I think for powder this tool works really really well like really well gives you the most amazing flawless finish ever so I absolutely love setting my face with the let it fall to me personally it like I feel like if this uh, tool is actually meant to be more used with powders but I know it's you can use creams as well and Tati herself say it's very multi-functional and you can use every single product with this but I feel like it for powders this works like dream but for me personally I don't like using any cream products with this so I don't even know what eye look I want to do when I kind of use the blue somehow in somewhere I'm gonna see how I'm going to do it use all the uh, Juvia's Palace eyeshadow palettes uh, to do the whole eye look um, absolutely loving their eyeshadows got myself uh, four different ones but today I'm going to use the which one is this Af Afrique and the Saharan so I'm going to use these two palettes today and do my whole eye look, the Afrique, Afrique palette and I'm going to take this shade De uh, Decker, Decker, this orange, bright orange shade and I'm just going to start applying this on the outer part of my eye. So I'm going to take my Sigma E25 brush and start packing the shade Decker from African uh, palette from Juvia's Palace um, and I'm going to pack this shade quite generously on the outer part of my eye it's just because I want my outer V um, to be super intense and super like uh, not smoked out but really like pop up so I'm going to pack the color first and then with the same brush I'm just going to start blending it this is so basically diffusing the edges and also taking the same shade in the um, in my crease so kind of like deepen my crease as well now I'm just taking a clean blending brush and I'm just going to diffuse this color before I go with any other shade I just I'm just diffusing this uh, to make sure I have a nice diffused edges and also uh, I'm, 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 going to, I'm going to use this shade as a, a transition shade so not going to apply any more color but just going to uh, use the clean blending brush to diffuse this uh, close to my brow bone um, the same I'm just doing the same thing on my lower lash line I'm just taking the same shade and applying it on my outer part of my lower lash line and then diffusing all the harsh edges now I'm picking up the shade Bintu from um Jewish palace african palette again and i'm picking this up on a more of an angled brush and this brush is from sigma as well it's an angled uh, eyeshadow brush and i'm just going to pack this right in so the next step i'm going to do is i'm going to take the saharian palette and i'm going to apply this intense blue shade right this one on the remaining part of my lid so what i'm going to do is before I do that, I'm actually going to cut my lid a crease, a kind of like a cut crease. So, like half cut crease. So, I'm going to clean this area out. So, I'm just cutting my um, crease, 
basically it's not a cut crease cut crease but i'm just cleaning the area where like uh, the inner part of my eye and also the third of my lid as well just to before i go with my intense like shade and this one is called a berber and this is from uh juvia's palace Saharan palette um i just i'm just packing this up with my mac cosmetics i believe is 202 or 242 brush this is the flat brush and i actually sprayed my brush with a little bit of a setting spray before i went with the um eyeshadow color and i'm just packing this up properly to make sure this color really really stands out for my eyeliner i'm using covergirl uh, liquid eyeliner and this is just in shade black and I'm just going to create a wing not a super dramatic wing however still the nice long wing but not too dramatic not too short either um, just to something to complement my eye so uh, I'm just going to create that uh, also I actually went a really I didn't put too like a thick of a line on remaining of my eye I just kept it really Thin, so it looks really nice and it also gives me a helping line for my lashes too uh, now I'm going to pick up the shade um, which is from Afric palette and this one is called Angelique and I'm just going to apply this in the inner corner of my eye uh, on the outer on sorry on the lower lash line so it's going to also provide like a pop of color to highlight my um, lower lash line uh, for my Fenty Beauty bronzer in shade Shady Biz, this is a really nice bronzer actually, I do really like this. So the way I like to bronze my face is I like to go with the light amount first, create the basic like a three and once I created that then I just like to add however much product I want oh, like I just like to do it a very light hand so My Vast Bay blushes, and I think today I'm gonna try the style She O. This one. Okay. So I'm just going to apply my Duo Adhesive. Um, eyelash glue this is my favorite glue because it's worked really really well for me because as you all know by now i have a super sensitive eyes um and i'm just going to pop my lashes apply the center then the outer part and then the inner and there we go we are done and i just finished uh, some of pop uh, makeup and my lips off camera and now i'm just topping up my lips with my fenty beauty uh, lip gloss um and i'm just going to give a really nice coat of this lip gloss because i really want my lips to be super super nice and looking wet and glossy and shiny for to complement my eyes and uh, yep yeah my final look using black stroke asian owned makeup brands or the one i own at least <laughs> so this is how i created this whole look just want to say one thing though the juvia's palace eyeshadow palettes are must if you if you don't have it it's not in your collection you need to grab it now i have never came across an eyeshadow palette which is so affordable and has such a nice nice finish everything went on like a dream super buttery super pigmented so easy to work with even intense eyeshadows oh my god Mwah. dream i'm so glad i finally decided to get some and try it on because i was too late in the game too late now i'm looking forward to try their foundation i'm definitely getting their foundation and concealers and probably will be doing another video for just dedicated whole to Juvia's Palace using all their products like full face kind of thing because I am so so impressed by their eyeshadows so yeah this is the final look 
hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions you can obviously ask me in the comment section below and uh, yeah i shall see you guys next time love you all take care bye guys